Hi everyone and welcome to part 14 of The Sims 4 Island Living. Carrie is starting her day by taking in the beautiful views of the lagoon and since the storms did let up the evening before, her parents were able to get a flight home so she said goodbye to both of them this morning. So we're back to just being Carrie, Talia, and Kona. And today is also the big summer blowout, and I believe in the last part I was mentioning that I wasn't sure where we are going to have the party for that. But I did decide to throw it at Talia's grandfather's house because that is a Mopaleb, so there's a little bit more going on there, so I thought that'd be a bit more fun. So I have that party set up for, I think, 5 p.m. But until then, I wanted to have Talia go to Mopaleb to do some work from home for her job because she did get home at like 5 in the morning, so she was definitely not going to get up to go to work, go into work at 8 a.m., so I thought it'd be better to have her work from home, and she does have clean up trash, and La Palem is one of her tasks. So we're going to focus on that, and once she rests up a little bit more, we'll have her head out there and do that. But until then, I wanted to have Carrie do a little bit of beach combing, because she does need to do that for her aspiration. So we'll go over here and comb the beach for seashells, since apparently combing the beach for trash does not work for that. But while she is doing that, there is something that I did want to talk about. Because as I'm sure you all have gathered looking at the title of this video, this is going to be the last part of the series. And I know that may feel a little premature because, you know, these expansion pack let's plays usually last longer than 14 parts. But honestly, I haven't been as into this series as I would like to be. And I don't know if it's just that I'm not really feeling this, you know, feeling the story within this series that much. Or if it's because I lost momentum due to all the wedding planning craziness back this past summer. But... I just had a hard time recording this part. I've actually tried recording this part before multiple times and I got pretty much all the way through recording it twice, but I just ended up scrapping those and not putting them up because I wasn't happy with those videos and I didn't want to put something up that I just felt wasn't good and I had a feeling not many people would enjoy. But I took a little bit of a break, you know, I, it's, it's been about two weeks since my last attempt at recording this, so I just wanted to go back in and record this final part, just give this series an actual conclusion, because Discover University is also coming out next week. So that's just another reason why I want to wrap this up. You know, I don't want the series lingering around when that expansion pack is out. And I also get the feeling that there's not really much interest in watching this series anyway. So it's definitely overall for the best that this just concludes here. And I mean, today is going to be the big summer blowout, so I feel like having the big party where everyone is there because I did invite friends and family, I feel like that's just a really good way to conclude the series and send things off. I don't think I'm really going to worry too much about tying up loose ends with the storyline. Um, I just kind of want to more so have fun and just enjoy things, but we'll see what happens with this. But since this is the final part, I want to try some gameplay things that we haven't had a chance to do yet. Like, we haven't done the whole summoning island elementals thing. I was saving that for that Ancestor Day holiday that I made for the fall, but since we're obviously not going to get to that, we might as well just do it in this part. So I'm going to do that at the party. Tali is awake, and I guess she's reasonably rested enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and have her travel to Ma Palem to do that picking up trash that she needed to do. And since the party is at her grandfather's house, that'll make things a little bit easier. She'll already be there ahead of time for the party. So we may as well just have her travel to his home lot. All right, we have some trash right here. So we'll have her come over here and clean this up. And I want to see if we have anything else anywhere else that she can get. And if we're not able to find any of these trash piles, we do also have the option of having her beach comb for trash. So we don't have to really worry about her not being able to accomplish this. But yeah, it looks like the island is pretty clean everywhere else. But something I did notice is that we're not going to be able to summon the island elementals if there's an event going on because I tried to check to see if she could do it. It says this isn't available during an active event. So I think what we're going to have to do is end this holiday. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, you know, like we're not going to really. Okay, great. So we got that thing that she had an awful holiday, whatever. I mean, it's not really the hugest deal whether we get the benefits from that holiday. And I would rather try the whole summoning elementals thing. So now we have the option of doing that. So we're going to have to do that before the party starts, which was at 5 p.m. Because I believe once that starts, that's going to count as another active event. And then we're not going to be able to do it after that. So now is kind of our chance to make that happen. Because that is something I really want to check out before we wrap up the series. But come on, let's make your way over there a little bit faster, clean up that trash, and then maybe we'll just go ahead and summon the island elementals after we do that, just to make sure we get that time. 
Okay, so we're going to cancel all that. And then Summon Island Elementals. Ooh, what is this? Moth LM is improving. Conservation efforts are allowing Moth LM to flourish. Flowers are blooming. Coral reefs are growing. And fish are coming back. Not all is going swimmingly, though. Pesky seagulls have come to take advantage of the local wildlife. And the allure of the beautiful island has attracted more troublemakers. Keep it up. Moth LM needs more care. Cool. Yeah, so the island isn't at its, like, Me peak fly. status, That's but... I mean, that is something, and it looks like she summoned the Ellen Elemental, so they should show up soon. I don't know if they'll just show up around her, or if they're going to more so be at the lot we came in at? Maybe that's where they are? Yeah, they decided to come up over here, so we'll have her give a funny introduction to, what was her name? Wiki Parada, and then we have another one over here, so who are you? But we'll give, uh, we'll give a, ask for judgment, hmm. So apparently we can't really give her a friendly... Okay, there we go. There that is. So we'll just have her take a little bit of a break from collecting trash to do that. And hopefully we'll have enough time to complete her work tasks before the party starts. But, you know, this was definitely more so my priority. And unfortunately, it looks like she's starting to get a little bit tired. So I don't know how much energy she's going to have for this party later tonight. But I am kind of curious as to what this ask for judgment thing is. Um, so we'll just have her do that. Um, I mean, from what I've heard, I think they judge you based off of, like, how much you've honored the traditions of the island. I mean, I feel like she's done a pretty good job of that, so hopefully she'll get a good judgment. But she's trying that now. Be scared by her. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Are we getting our judgment now? Like, what is this? That seems good. I mean, they're laughing. Okay, I don't know. Do we get our judgment? Let's let's try asking for judgment again because I'm not sure if that actually happened or not. Hopefully this interaction actually works. Okay, so she's doing that now. So let's see what she has to say. Hmm. You would think there would be some kind of prompt that comes up for that, but I guess not. Maybe they give their judgment at the end or there's some kind of glitch going on. I don't know what the deal with this is, but we have a little bit of time before the party starts. So I just want to check out what's going on over here as far as the beach, like if there's anyone causing, causing trouble. So we'll just have her beach come for trash a little bit. She doesn't look like she's really a wrongdoer or anything. Oh, and this is her father saying congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Oh yeah, she did also get a promotion, so she's now on level 4 of the conservationist career. So that is pretty neat. Yeah, it's been a while since I recorded the last part, so I kind of forgot about that. And we do also have some more trash down here, so we'll just have her work on cleaning that up. And I'm not really seeing anything else, so... Yeah, I, I guess we're pretty good. Hopefully we can at least comp accomplish that, you know, task for her work. And I'm not really seeing anyone causing trouble at the island, so I guess things are pretty good. I mean, we do have the seagulls over here, so we should have her perhaps shoo them so we can scare the flock away. Hopefully she finds some trash that contribute to one of those things. And the party is going to be starting any minute now, so everyone will be coming over. All right, so let's go ahead and start that. And I'm not sure if the elementals are going to leave or not. Ooh, she found a hard salani. That's pretty good. And there we have her feeling pretty sad because the holiday unfortunately did not go very well. So she's going to go ahead and cry it out in his bed. Which is a little awkward, but okay, you do that. So how is this coming along? Do we find something? Oh, good. We finished the whole cleaning up trash and mop Helen thing. So it looks like that's a pretty good shape. She's going to go ahead and scare that flock, but we're going to cancel out of that and have her come back up here and light this. And it looks like the elementals left. Yeah, they did leave. So I guess that whole ask for judgment thing maybe wasn't working or I did something wrong. I don't know. Who knows? It's probably glitched. But another thing that would be good to do is to start a feast. So we're going to go ahead and cook the island vegetable feast so, you know, everyone can join in and eat that. And we just got everyone else over here standing around. Okay, there's Dominic. Good. I was, I was worried for a minute that he didn't show up. So when she goes ahead and lights that fire, we should have her go over here to talk to him a little bit. Maybe complain about her problems. Yeah, she's really not in the best mood. She's pretty tired. Unfortunately, she didn't get as well rested as I'd hoped she would, but I think that may have been because Kona woke her up because I noticed Carrie had the interaction to lecture about waking up with Kona. So yeah, I think that might have been what happened there. But maybe if we're lucky, we'll see an island spirit around the house and we can have her talk to it and maybe get that whole island energy thing so we won't even have to worry about this at all. Like, that would be absolutely perfect, you know? That way she could actually enjoy this whole party. Is Jasmine here? 
because they haven't really talked since that whole awkward thing with Jasmine turning her down. And oh, look at her greeting with a kiss. How cute. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it definitely would be pretty awkward to have her talk to, you know, like, talking to Jasmine would definitely be pretty awkward for her, but she does still, you know, value her as a friend. So I feel like even if it may be awkward, she still want to at least talk to Jasmine a little bit. But we'll spread conservation awareness with him because she is all about that right now after seeing all that junk that was around the other part of the island. So we can thank him for coming so that she appreciates him coming here. And this is maybe a little bit awkward because this is kind of like his first time meeting her parents. You know, like they haven't, I don't think he's really met her officially or met her parents officially since they got together. So we'll caress his cheek, maybe be a little awkward with the PDA in front of Haku here. You know, she's just kind of like, well, as I said before, like kind of proving Haku that she's, she's past him. She doesn't care. And... I feel like she kind of is past him a little bit, you know? Like, she's pretty wrapped up in this relationship, so I think she's genuinely really into it. And I did also invite Nalani here, so I noticed that she was hanging around. I'm not sure where she went off to, though. I still haven't seen Jasmine around there. Oh, there she is! I guess she came a little late. I don't know, maybe she had some second thoughts about showing up. And she still is feeling pretty down about that holiday not going very well. But perhaps we can go over here and talk to Jasmine a little bit. I mean, she is walking right in the house. It seems like she's actually going right for where Carrie is. Look at that. Like, she just kind of, like, went right over and sought out Carrie. So maybe that means something. So we'll thank her for coming and say that she appreciates her showing up. And then maybe engage in a little bit of awkward small talk. Um, so we can maybe talk about the weather. Like, just ask about her day. And, oh, look at them hugging each other. Oh, that's nice. See, you know, things are still pretty good between the two of them, even if they are a little bit awkward. So we'll just thank her for coming, ask about her day. Maybe not discuss local fishing spots, though, because as we've established, that is not something Carrie is really for. But let's uh, declare weather preference, declare, declare love for sun. You know, just kind of like, you know, uh, talking about the weather is definitely like a standard awkward small talk. But I do want to see what she's up to. Okay, let's not have you sleep. Let's have you go over. Oh, look at him breaking out the fire dancing. Let's add some fuel to this to pump this fire up a little bit. And then maybe we can have her join in and do a little bit of fire dancing herself. I don't know why things went so poorly with the burn voodoo doll. <laughs> oh, right. She had that in her inventory. But yeah, let's have her try fire dancing. I don't know why like things didn't really go anywhere with Island Elementals. Like I feel like there should have been more interactions to that. But look at her going all in with this. That was pretty good. Is he still... Oh, okay then. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. It looks disgusted over the moldy hot dog though. But let's, uh, we already, I think we already thanked him for coming. So let's not do that. Let's ever be all, ooh, cozy up at the bonfire. Right, I didn't quite see them doing that before. I mean, we've already seen them doing that, but it's fine. You know, it is always a really cute interaction. I do always love this, although she does look in a, like she's in a pretty sour mood due to being so tired, but they are still pretty adorable. Yeah, I mean, it's rather unfortunate that we're not really going to be able to see them progress, but I just I just don't think it's worth continuing the series just for that. But we can compliment his appearance, and then, oh, she's about to pass out, though, and then, oh, look at these two having a good conversation. How about you don't look at yourself in the mirror? Oh, that's the unfortunate thing about ending that holiday, but let's evangelize vegetarian benefits. Maybe we can, oh, cozy but bonfires interaction she can do. Aw, maybe we could try to flirt, gloomy compliment, <laughs> so we can do some things. I mean, should we, let's have her just try to flirt, to see how it goes. Ooh, it looks like she's actually into that. Aw, so maybe everything isn't completely lost with her. I mean, maybe, maybe a little distance did help things some between the two of them. And then now, she, now she's hating his guitar playing, so unfortunately she's now in a bad mood from that. So she can't quite get away from being in the poor mood. A uh, gloomy compliment? And you know what? Maybe we could just try having them. Oh, look at that. She can actually do interactions now. You know, maybe we could have them just cozy up at the bonfire a little bit. Perhaps during their conversation, they cleared things up a little bit. And Jasmine said, look, it wasn't that I wasn't interested in you at all. It was just that I felt like things were moving a little too fast. I just want to take things really slow. I want to spend time getting to know you. So, you know, they're on better terms now. So we'll just have them go out here and be a little, you know, get a little cozy at the fire. I think this is a really nice point to end this series on, you know, with them kind of reconnecting and Carrie realizing that it wasn't that Jasmine was completely uninterested in her. It was just that she felt that Carrie kind of came on a little too strong and kind of 
threw her off a little bit and she apologized for reacting that way and said, she, said that she was really sorry. She should have worried things a little bit better. And it looks like they made up, so things are progressing forward. So yeah, I, I think that's like a really sweet note to conclude things on. And what is Tolly up to? Okay, so she is sleeping. Let's ever get out here and talk to Dominic a little bit more so we can have her be romantic with him, compliment his appearance. What is this? Uh, okay, someone identified the guppy, but I'm not really, I don't really care about that. Oh, she is not quite as good at the fire dancing, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll just have her come out here and chat with him a little bit. And maybe we can, ooh, attempt to seduce. That's always a fun one. A little bit of an awkward interaction, but that's always fun. And maybe we could end things by having them woohoo in the waterfall. Although I don't know if that's really gonna work very well with their energy being so low, but. I don't know, that would be um, maybe kind of nice to do. <laughs> Looks like he's into that, though. So we can... Uh, we've already done the whole cozying up at Bonfire thing, so we'll try caressing his cheeks some. And I want to see if we have any spirits... <gasps> oh, good, we have some spirits floating around. Yes, okay, so let's have her... Hold on. Uh, let's have her go here and commune with the spirit and see if they'll give us a little bit of an energy boost because that would be absolutely perfect. And that would help out things so much with this whole situation, but the party did end. We got a bronze medal, didn't really go the best, but I still want to see, hold on. If we, if we um, add him to a group, maybe he won't leave. Yeah, so do that. I think that should keep him around here. So we're going to have a commune with the spirit and Sage will give us a little bit of an energy boost and, you know, see what that we can continue things on a little bit. All right, so hopefully we get something good with this. Come on, energy boost. Come on, come on, come on. That's what I want. <laughs> Do we get anything? Hold on a minute. Okay, looks like... Ah, uh, no, we got the feast thing. Why is it that I never get the thing I want? Okay, well, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like the whole uh, waterfall woohoo thing may not be happening. I mean, we could always... We could always try, though, and see if we can make that happen. You know, maybe she has just enough energy to actually make that happen. Because that kind of would be a nice note to end things on, so we'll see. Although she'll probably pass out on the way down there, but I at least want to give it a shot before we wrap things up here. And then she has to go to the bathroom too, so that's that's not really the best. <laughs> but we'll ever ask him. At least she's not hungry though, so we've got that going for us. All right, looks like he is in. So I actually went ahead and she did her mood up because I mean this is the last part. It's not like this is going to be continuing, so why not just go ahead and do that and make things work a little bit easier? So she is now going over there to the waterfall to meet Dominic, be all romantic. I do really like this interaction. I mean, ooh, okay, let's uh, let's not go all the way up there. Yeah, I mean, the whole, uh, look, look, I just love that little nudge thing. Like, this whole interaction is really cute. Yeah, even though they are a pretty unexpected couple, I do really like the two of them together. All right, so they are done with that. And with that, I think this is a good point to wrap this part up. And with that, this whole series at. So even though this was a shorter series, I still hope you all enjoyed this. I'm glad I finally got to make a proper conclusion to this. But that's going to be it. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.